in this video we're going to review steps to accomplish beer block or IV regional anesthesia for the extremity. Also known as IV regional anesthesia, beer block is used to provide anesthesia to an arm or a leg for surgical procedures. It is named after August Beer who first described the technique in 1908. Talking about a beer block, many thanks to Dr. Blue's Belgian Brews for the sponsorship of this video with their placebo, a non-alcoholic beer. To learn more about placebo or taste this anesthesiologist brewed artisanal awarded beer, visit drblues.com for more information and ordering information. One a day takes the alcohol away. Here are the key features of a beer block. The procedure involves injecting a local anesthetic into a vein in the limb that requires surgery. This anesthetic numbs the area, allowing for painless surgical interventions. A crucial part of the procedure is the use of a tourniquet. Before the anesthetic is injected, a tourniquet or device similar to a blood pressure cuff is applied to the limb to isolate it from the rest of the body's circulation. This ensures that the anesthetic remains in the targeted area and does not circulate throughout the body. Once the local anesthetic is injected, it quickly numbs the area below the tourniquet. This rapid onset makes it suitable for short duration surgeries. The beer block is typically used for procedures up to an hour because the tourniquet can cause discomfort if left on for extended periods. While generally safe when performed correctly, the beer block has its limitations. It is not suitable for procedures on patients with certain medical conditions such as peripheral vascular disease or a history of adverse reactions to local anesthetics and for surgeries that require a longer duration of anesthesia. After the surgery, the tourniquet is released allowing the anesthetic to be gradually absorbed into the body. Careful monitoring is necessary during this phase to watch for any signs of local anesthetic toxicity. The beer block is appreciated for its simplicity, effectiveness and the rapid onset and offset. However, it requires very careful consideration of patient selection and strict adherence to the technique to ensure safety and effectiveness. So, let's review the procedure in steps. Secure informed consent and evaluate the patient and prepare equipment, local anesthetic, double cuff tourniquet, IV cannula, syringes, sterile gloves and drapes, and ensure availability of emergency resuscitation gear. First, secure an IV access into the contralateral limb for safety. Insert the small gauge IV cannula in the extremity to be anesthetized. Cap the IV cannula and secure it. and apply the soft padding underneath the arm tourniquet. This is done to enhance the comfort from the tourniquet application. Then apply the double tourniquet and connect it to the source of pressure. Elevate the extremity for a couple of minutes, then use an S-mark bandage, wrapping it from the distal to proximal extremity to squeeze intravascular blood out of the extremity. Inflate the distal cuff first, and then inflate the proximal cuff next. Next, unwrap the S-mark. Check that the tourniquet is functional by applying the pressure on the tourniquet. Then deflate the distal cuff so that you can inflate it in case of the tourniquet pain later. Double check that the radial arterial pulse is absent, indicating that the tourniquet is functional. Next, inject the local anesthetic slowly and check the dose in Nysora's Manual of Regional Anesthesia or Compendium on nysoralms.com. The most commonly used local anesthetic is lidocaine 0.5 to 2%. Ensure the anesthesia onset by monitoring for loss of sensory motor function, which occurs within five minutes after the injection. During the surgery, continuously monitor the patient and confirm the tourniquet's inflation status regularly. And check the complete management of the patient and tourniquet in Nysora's Manual of Regional Anesthesia or Compendium on nysoralms.com. And if you found this video useful, do like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the future videos. 
Until next time.